We have seen eight named storm systems in just over a month across the Philippines over towards Vietnam as well. It has been one storm after another. In fact, this graphic here shows you pretty clearly what I'm talking about. From Nanka to Ophel to Saldal, known as Papito in the Philippines, Molave, Coney, Super Typhoon, actually Coney, uh, known as Roli in the Philippines, we had Atsani, Tonio, also Atal internationally, and Vamco most recently, which resulted in absolute serious flooding. But Vamco itself was a big rainmaker. The problem was all those previous storm systems I just mentioned added up the precipitation out here and the ground already saturated created this widespread destruction following Vamco known locally as Ulysses. So why? Just why? Why have we had so many storms? Well, I know this sounds pretty simple, but the energy was just there. Above average sea surface temperatures as well, and it's all about the steering flow. What do I mean about that energy, by the way? We have been in the MGO, the Madden-Julian Oscillation here. It's been in that phase around five to six. Five to six is a positive phase for the Philippines and Southeastern Asia. Basically, this is just a, an area of energy that goes around the Earth, and when it pulses through, it increases the likelihood of development for tropical systems. It's been in a positive phase for this area of the Western Pacific for a few weeks now. Plus, the energy has been there as far as sea surface temperatures. Above average sea surface temperatures, about two to three degrees have been in, put in place. The analogy I like to use, is it, you make a fire, you throw fuel on top of it, but not only gas, you also have flammable ethanol, everything else you could think of. That's what we've been seeing out here. Two to three degrees is an absurd amount of extra energy that goes into these storm systems. They are heat engines, and when you get more fuel, they grow, they intensify. That's why we've had few strong storms as well, not just storms developing. And the steering flow, it's all about the steering flow. High pressure towards the north has been persistent. You don't believe me? Let's take a look at these graphics. This is mid-November. High pressure towards the north, flow coming in from the east towards the west. Same with late October. And then if we look at mid-October, we still have our tropical systems down here towards the south. There's not much of any significant troughs digging in, allowing these storm systems to recurve towards the north. That high pressure has been acting like a wall. All the energy down here, that spark for development, the gasoline on the fuel or the flames, and then our storm systems just have nowhere else to go except the west, right into the Philippines, one after another we we're seeing out there that is why this past month has been so busy i hope you find this video useful please let me know in the comments down below and yeah if you had any questions anything like that like to know as well if you haven't hit that subscribe button follow me on all these social media platforms stay safe out there